And uh, of course, I also spoke to Sunil Godwani, the CMD of Relegare Enterprises. I uh, began by asking him uh, whether Relegare is going to apply given that the final guidelines are out. Yeah, we always stress our interest that for Relegare Enterprises as a fully integrated one-stop financial service house, it's uh, natural uh, to evolve as a bank. We have the guidelines. We'll go through all the other details and uh, the fit and proper definitions that RBI may have, and uh, definitely we are very keen to apply for it. But sir, the norms state that current businesses should not uh, put bank and banking system at risk. Uh, the same question that I asked Mr. Srinivasan, how do you read into this? Uh, is this going to mean that the RBI is going to be very selective in picking who it gives licenses to? Basically, what they are saying is that they don't want any systematic risk. So the non-operative holding company will cover all the financial services and there will be no lending allowed to any group company. So a bank cannot be used to lend to your own company. This is a, uh, from a governance standard, uh, they have also said that there will be independent board, which is absolutely fine. So what they are basically saying is they are ensuring that a new bank that is being set up today in an environment which is challenging anyway, there is absolutely very little chance, probably no chance for any systematic failure from any side to a bank. Which I feel is very positive again. I mean, whatever is being, is being uh, put forward is uh, the right thing to do for the industry. You don't want a bank failing, which will be a very negative aspect to the whole sector then. And sir, your, uh, your reaction on the initial sort of capitalization, uh, 500 crore rupees, uh, is that uh, a, lo a little lower than you would expect it? The capitalization is a function of plans. I mean, they are very clear, there has to be a financial inclusion. So, I would say to put up a meaningful bank and uh, also achieve the financial inclusion as uh, specified by them, by them uh, it's an uh, appropriate amount. However, it depends on specific business plan that are put together. But a uh, 500 crore capitalization on a minimum level, I think it's uh, pretty fair in expectancy, uh, you know. Sir, uh, in terms of exposure norms, uh, they state that the bank cannot invest in debt, uh, equity, promoter holding and also uh, have to maintain an arm's length uh, distance as far as suppliers are concerned. Uh, how do you react to that? No, this is what I just said. So, if you are a bank, you cannot uh, invest in yourself or any of your companies related to the promoter, which is, a, which is normal. I mean, that is what would be expected. So, I don't, this doesn't come as a surprise at all. Anyway, you know, even today, there are norms in place, uh, concentration norms in place, if you are investing in the related parties. So, as a bank, you would be expected that you would not fund yourself from any aspect, which is a, a, a pretty accepted norm, I would say. And finally, sir, of course, the whole uh, issue of 25% branches in rural areas, do you think uh, that's going to be a hurdle for, for, for some of the players at least? Well, it's always a challenge. It will be a challenge, but that is what the norm is, and one will have to comply with it. From a religious perspective, we have always expanded more into little trade through cities, and we feel uh, you know, that a lot of technology use will be required to really penetrate for true financial inclusion. Again, uh, I mean, that is what they want. One will have to build a business plan around it. Alright, with that, uh, let's in fact uh, discuss the, this with an independent set of experts and I have Shinjini Kumar, uh, Director of PricewaterhouseCoopers joining me here in the Mumbai studios. Uh, Shinjini, thanks for coming in. Uh, you know, your initial reaction on the guidelines, two or three surprises. One is of course that PSU banks uh, were allowed and also everyone has now been included. Uh, you know, there were talks about brokerages, real estate firms not being uh, included in this but that's not